Hi guys, this is Divine Irony again from Gus and ZU. Uh, if you noticed in my previous video, I failed a lot in the previous quest I was trying to do, which was saving Princess Stillpine, but uh, we didn't manage to do that, so we're trying to do the Naga quest we got given as well, which is to kill a Naga leader and put a spike through him. But well, basically it's a flagpole for him, but uh, yeah. Very progressive alliance. Yes, you're not like the Horde at all. The Horde of Savages. That's why you go and kill a random thing and stick a spike in it. And here is Lord. He's called Lord Ziz. He's very easy to kill. We killed him very easily. Now we're going to put a spike through him and we've completed it. Uh, we just came. We just, we're just continuing on because we saw a Nord. Uh, we got uh, greedy and we got jumped on by these things. Now we need to drink because... Uh, we found it to mana. And we got picked on again. Stop picking on us. Um, those are mobs, by the way. The custom mobs do a silence. So uh, watch it for that if you're low on health. We're just killing a few more of these. Basically just to level up. Because as you notice, we're almost level 13. Um, that's, uh, if you notice um, the spam on my chat... That was from the time when we killed uh, Kologon had more than 10 man, but uh, yeah, he was very easy anyway. We just hadn't been doing uh, 10 man hard mods uh, in Ulduar, so we all just got it. So they all just got it then. Uh, if you notice my talent tree, I put the final point into the intellect increasing talent. So now uh, we get 10% extra intellect. Uh, we sat, we've we come back to do the quest again. He has spawned again, but now we know exactly where he is. So we're just going to drink and try to pull him. We're pulling him immediately, basically. Uh, if you just saw that in the video, perfect example of why you don't put Searing Totem down. Because it pulled the mob I wasn't even fi um, fighting. So, yeah. Watch out for the Searing Totem because it can do some really weird things. Uh, we're level 14 now. We're going to get some more shaman abilities, but first we want to hand in our quests and basically just dodge some of these things and give the quest back in to Stillpine. Basically, the Stillpine. And there we go. We've saved her or it or him or whatever. We don't know what he really is. Um, but we've completed the quest now. We're just pulling a few more things. Uh, why I pulled free, I have no idea, but I'm lucky to be alive, because I was in low mana. But, uh, anyway, they, they hit like, well, they hit like babies, basically. So, uh, we're going to hand in to the crests here, and we're going to go to Bloodwatch. We get a belt upgrade, which is plus one intellect, plus one stam. Uh, we do not get a chest upgrade, because our chest is from... Our chest is a heirloom chest, so we don't need to. Uh, we're just vendoring some stuff at the moment here. We're buying some Telabim bananas because we had uh, the lower level uh, health food, which wasn't that good. So we decided, I decided basically to buy some level 10 uh, food. And basically, yeah, we keep using the 10 food for quite a while after we get it. So, yeah. And this is Blood Watch, as you can notice now the um the ground is a lot blood is full of blood. This is a contamination. Um we're just picking up a few quests now because there's a lot of quests uh, we just got in this area. Uh, I'm not gonna say what all the quests are in the video, but as we do them I'll say what we need to do uh as we are going because I can't list the amount of quests there are now because I'll end up repeating myself in the next videos. And I can't remember every single one of these quests because I'm doing the narration a couple of weeks after doing the video, so yeah. I just do the narration when I can. And I sincerely hope that uh yes I'm using Audacity again despite the trouble I had last time. So yeah, I hope this doesn't uh, fail again. If it does fail if you heard that there was the sound of me putting a fist to my hand. You probably didn't hear it. I tried to put it close to the mic, but uh, yeah, nothing happened. Uh, we're flat. We flew to the Blooded Mile just to basically hand in our quest and to get uh, our Shaman experience. Yeah, we just skipped a bit there, sorry. And we skipped back to uh, Blood uh, uh, Bloodwatch extremely quickly there. Uh, I don't even remember what new things we got. I think it was Purge and... 
yeah, I can't remember what my abilities were, sorry. I probably should have uh, made that clip a bit longer, but uh, yeah, I just didn't want to bore you with uh, me running back and forth all the time. Um, this is the first quest they're going to be doing. We need to get some... I think. No, this isn't the first quest we're going to be doing, I think. Yes, yeah, so the first quest we're going to be doing is getting some crystallized back from these quest things here. So, as you can see around here, this is where we're going to be farming them. we got a tainted chest here. Ah, this is not the first quest we're going to be doing. Which, what The first quest we're going to be doing is trying to get a impact crystal sample, which we just got there. Uh, it's a bit weird where it is. It's at the southernmost island. It says directly the south, but it isn't directly south, so you've got to watch out for that. And this is the next quest we're going to be doing. We need to tag six black and uh, silt scouts. Now the scouts are the purple murlocs and the ones that you don't need to tag are the red murlocs. Uh, the red murlocs just are just an annoyance so you might need to kill a few of them just to get close to the uh, purple to purple murlocs. Uh, if you do get aggro from a purple murloc uh, you won't be able to get the quest achievement you will need to kill it and try to get some more. When you tag a murloc, it disappears after a short while. So it's a good idea not to pull them and try to pull them from range because you can use the tag from basically range. Um, we've, we need to get two more black skilled souts at the moment now. Yeah, we need to get two more of them. So we're just killing a few more of these really annoying murlocs. Uh, you'll see a lot of murlocs in my videos, folks. I'm really sorry about it, but uh, Blizzard seems to find them a very popular mob. They stick everywhere in low levels. There's about everybody hitting them. Uh, as you can see here, this is a demon. The reason we're killing this demon is because this demon gives us a quest. Now, the quest is to kill a certain amount of these... Uh, satyrs, basically. We need to kill eight Nazivius satyrs, and we need to kill... Eight Nazius Felswan. Nazius Felswan. Uh, basically, we need to kill 16 mobs. They're all around the camps in this area. You do get rogues in the area as well. They don't count towards the achievement. Uh, they don't count towards the quest, uh, quest credit. But uh, if you don't kill them, they'll sneak up on you. And the rogues are the most dangerous ones, to be honest. Uh, then followed by Felswan because they're casters. And casters are nasty things to, uh, things to fight because. At low levels, the casters do significantly more than the melee mobs, uh, basically to all classes. Uh, beside mages, I think, but uh, I've never played a cloth wearing class to any high level besides a uh, priest to level 28, and I got bored because it was so lo um, slow to kill anything, and the shadow abilities weren't that fun, in my opinion. So we're just killing a few more of these. They give good experience this level because they're level 14 and I'm level 14 as you can see here. Which makes it awesome. Do 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 do. He's dead and he's out. We just completed another quest here. Which was 11. Uh, no, 10 irradiated shards. Uh, you get those from basically any mob around the zone. Uh, we just completed another um, quest credit there, which was the Nazivius Monument Glyph. If you saw me go close to that glyph there, that was what we needed. Uh, if you notice me pick up the herb, the mushroom on the floor, uh, that was one of the achievements. This is it's the Makaraji Mushroom Menagerie. In this video, I got an aquatic stinkhorn, a blood mushroom, and a falcon fungus. So we need one more, which is a ruinous polyspore, and the ruinous polyspores are by the Naga, which we won't be doing in this video. I'm sorry. Uh, we're just pulling a few more of these at the moment and knocking them into the water and I think we just completed the quest credit for this we d I think we need a few more fell swan uh, yeah we do need a few more swell swan but we won't be completing the we won't be completing the quest in this video guys so peace out and I hope you'll you enjoyed the vid and I hope I'll see you in part 9